Good morning everyone. Thank you for tuning in today. Now for the past four months I've had the honor of becoming involved in a program known as Write On. This is a life skills and writing class that meets at the Monroe County Detention Center every Saturday night. The women in this class are given composition notebooks so they can express themselves through writing and journaling. You could say that the goal of this class is to help and inspire the women to change things for the better when they get out in the world again. Now what's happened is that I've actually been inspired by all of these women. They're strong ladies, they're survivors, they're intelligent, untapped talent, and I believe one day each and every one of them will make a difference. I'm going to be inviting some of the ladies on the show so that you can hear their stories and you can also hear some of the stories that they've written about life as an inmate. Claire, thank you so much for being with me today. You're my first victim. Yay. <laughs> first, I want to take a look back at your past, Claire. We're not going to live in the past. We're just going to look back at the past. And you have a really interesting story. You ran away from home at the age of just 14. What were you running away from, Claire? Uh, that's a good question. Really, I just got bored and just wanted to go check out everything else. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. Where did you go when you ran away for the first time? Well, at 14, let me see, first time, pretty much hung around in my town, staying in abandoned houses, staying at friends' houses, going to shows. And then as it progressed, as I got a little bit older, I would, you know, leave the state, go over to Tennessee for a little bit, go up to Virginia, as the other one. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you were going to train stations? Uh, no, train yards. Train yards, yeah, okay. Yeah, freight trains. Okay. And then were you staying on the train? Like I'd hop a train from Asheville into Knoxville, Tennessee, and, you know, that's how I would commute and then hop the train back when I wanted to come back home. Same thing with going to Virginia and everything. So you had no responsibility during this time? None. And you liked that? I did. Mm -hmm. You liked the freedom that you had? Indefinitely. Did you worry sometimes about when you'd get your next meal? No, not really. I mean, if you walk around and you ask people, hey, buy me some food, they're going to be quicker to buy you a meal than they are to hand you cash. Mm -hmm. So you would be able to get food from people that you would meet. Did you have any experiences, Claire, during this time when you didn't think you were going to make it? There was an incident when I was older, about, I guess, 19, 20. And I hopped the wrong train and I wound it up in Mexico. Mm -hmm. And I was on the border of Mexico and then there were some, uh, I don't know how to put them, but uh, some rather not nice people. And I'm pretty sure I was going to get kidnapped and sold. So I got out of that situation. Mm -hmm. The Florida Keys, how did you end up down here? Uh, I came down here for the first time about three years ago with an ex-girlfriend. We hitchhiked down here. And I liked it and I've been coming back every winter since. Mm -hmm. and this is the longest you've stayed put in a town though. Are you getting anxious to go or, or oh, are yes. you ready to stay, Claire? Oh man, I want to go so bad. I would love to get back on a train, but right now I got the job and the apartment and everything and since I'm on probation, I'm kind of stuck here. I met you a couple of months ago through the Ride On program and I noticed with you that I think you want to make a change in your life and I think you also have a really good support system right now in your life that wants to see you make that change. I am definitely thankful this, for the support system, like all the ladies that went to the Write On program and everything, including yourself, like definitely, definitely got a good system going. Oh, Claire, good. we're going to talk this morning about your writing a little bit because I don't think you realize just how powerful of a writer you are. I, I've read some of your articles in the past. Your poetry is awesome. And I, and I know that this has kind of been a way for you to express yourself. All right. Mm -hmm. how, have you always been writing poetry? Um, for the most part, yeah. It started off as like trying to write punk songs and everything, and then I just realized I was a better poet than I was in lyrics. Mm -hmm. so. But you're not a fan of your own work, are you? Not particularly. Claire, I have some of your past poetry with me this morning, and if it's okay with you, I would like for you to read it. Um, yeah, I'll give it a shot. All right, let's hear it. And this, is, this piece is entitled Beethoven. Ooh, see what we got. Oh, yeah. All right. So I'm a pretty fast reader, so I'll try to slow it down a little bit. <clears throat> so 
The piano you slew with your talented hands, how I imagine they arose from the stands. The imagery, the passion, the fire, and the sound. Simply call it music would be to cast it to the ground. You recalled many things by the church violent was one. In your simple time, appreciation was almost none. But you arose at your genius and mortal and tall. You heard everything, yet sadly nothing at all. I like it. Puke, do you remember when you wrote that? Uh, I do. It was after I had actually gotten a copy of A Clockwork Orange, which uh, ladies at Ride On were kind enough to bring me. And I was thinking about just this one scene, and I don't know, just like the part, uh, what the hell, heck is it? I uh, can't really think of the exact scene, but uh, it just popped up in my head, so mm -hmm. there you have it. Now, when you were at the detention center, would you ride every day? Um, just about. Mm -hmm. And was it a way for you to kind of just get emotions out on paper? Or? I guess, yeah, it helped me get a lot of things out. and. I don't know, it also gave me something to do. It's mm -hmm. better than staring at a blank wall all day. Have you ever thought about writing a book with your life story, Puke? Well, I currently have someone that's trying to push me to do this, but mm -hmm. uh, really at the moment I got too much going on to even comprehend doing something like that. If you could have people read your life story, what would you want them to take from it? Don't do drugs and stay in school. <laughs> So would you say that that's something you <laughs> wish that you would have done? Or are you happy with the choices you made in the No, past? I'm happy with the choices I made. I mean, the past is who you are. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be me now. Mm -hmm. so. But you definitely would give people some other advice and not take the path that, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that you decided to and take. For the most part, I mean, I'm all for, you know, adventure and hopping trains and hitchhiking. It's just there are different routes to go about doing things. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You can still find adventures stay and put in one place, I think. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> well, I, for one, hope that you stay for a while, Puke, because I, I want to have you back on the show. I want to do a series with you, and I want you to kind of tell us a little bit about, about the transition from jail to the world, because it's not right. as easy as people m make it out to be. No, it's really not. It's definitely... It's definitely a struggle to get back on your feet and everything. And honestly, I'm thankful <coughs> that my friends let me stay in her apartment rent-free and everything at the moment so I can get everything together. Mm -hmm. Like, I got lucky. A lot of people come out and they have absolutely nothing to go to. Mm -hmm. But you had a good, a good support system. You have a lot of fans, Puke. And I want you to come back on, too, and share some more of your writing because you're a powerful writer. Your, your writing's beautiful, so I hope that you can you can share it with our viewers in the future. Oh, well, thank you. All right, so in a couple weeks, we will see you back on the show, and you better have some new poetry for us, all right? Possibly. Deal? Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> I'll take that. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but if you'd like some more information on the Ride On program, check out the website that you see on the bottom of the screen. You can see some more of Puke's work, along with seeing some of the other talented ladies' writings. Stay with me. There's much more to come this morning.